Keep praying and believing in God even when the odds seem inevitable. The Word of God teaches and encourages us to live and walk by faith, and absolute hope in what the Word of God says. The Scripture says, in 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 24, that God is ever faithful and can never fail on His promises. He who calls you is faithful, who also will do it. 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 24. So all we have to do as Christians is to believe what God says and the promises He has made to us. Rather than being swayed by what our eyes or feelings are telling us or suggesting to us. Because those are merely storms trying to test our faith and commitment to God's Word. And until you believe the Word of God, you won't have the confidence to pray and get results. And to claim God's promises, you have got to have faith in His Word. Hence the Bible says, in James, chapter 1, verses 6 through 7. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. So without faith, you can't claim or receive anything from the Lord. It is only when you have faith, and pray along the lines of your faith, that getting results from God becomes possible. Other scriptures where God emphasized this truth include, Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6, here it says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. If you read further in this chapter, you will find a list of men and women who have lived fulfilled lives in their various spheres of life and interests because of the same faith that is encouraged here. And in 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 7, it says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. And in Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 4, it says, Behold the proud, his soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. So basically, the word of God tells us in these scriptures to rely on God, that he is faithful and capable of meeting all of our needs. All we have to do is approach him in prayer, trusting in his willingness and ability to deliver on his promises. Even when the circumstances around us say otherwise, we should not be moved or burdened by the circumstances around us, but rather maintain an unshakable faith in the Word of God, and His promises. And in the end, we shall surely rejoice. Because God never fails or disappoints those who place their trust in Him. The Scripture assures us in Romans, chapter 10, verse 11, when it says, For the Scripture says, Whoever believes on Him will not be put to shame. Therefore I prophesy unto you under my voice today, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will never see shame. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, King of Glory. I come to you at this hour, Lord. Praying for every listener under my voice today. Lord, yours they are, being that they have chosen to follow you and believing that you are faithful, just, and able to fulfill for them as you have promised in your word. Dearest Heavenly Father, my joy is that whenever I pray, Lord, you hear. Therefore, dear Father Lord, I ask of them, Lord, that you give them, my listeners, the grace to be persistent in their prayers, and to keep believing in your word. Because I know from your infallible word, that those who trusted in you were never let down. Therefore, dear Lord, give them the grace to keep confessing the truth. As you bid us to be doing according to your word of Job, Chapter 22, verse 29. When they cast you down, and you say, Exaltation will come. Then he will save the humble person. Lord, that was your word. Dear Father Lord, help your children not to be swayed by a change of unpleasant circumstances. Help them to know and understand that you, O oh God, are still in charge and in control of their affairs. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, even in the midst of the many difficulties and challenges that face humankind today. Lord, cause them to always walk above the storms. Give them an abundance of all the good things in life and the things that make life enjoyable. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, may whatever comes their way always work to your glory and turn to their favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. In accordance with your word from Romans, chapter 8, verse 28, which says, 
And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. Father, let this be the lot of all my listeners. Let everything always work together for their good, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help them to always keep their eyes on you, your word, and your promises. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help my listeners to always keep their hopes alive in you, for in so doing they will come out victorious and successful, in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, for the powers that are presenting adverse effects and adversities in their expectations. Dear Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, let them be judged in accordance with your judgment and justice, in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, you say, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it will speak, and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Lord, give your children the grace to believe that God is able and, in due course, will turn everything around for their good, in accordance with your word, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, give them the grace to wait for their expected positive changes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, any agents of delays, who may try to delay or hinder their noble and glorious expectations, Lord, let them be judged with destruction, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, because your word of Exodus 22, verse 18 says, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release fire, thunder, and brimstone against any witches or wizards in any mission in the life of your people. Let them be brought to your divine judgment by fire and thunder, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let their evil works against your children be burned to ashes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let their enchantment, divination and abracadabra amount to nothing, in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, I reverse every bad situation in the lives of my listeners that appears to have gone bad or is irredeemable. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, keep your promises to my listeners in Joel 2, verse 25, and Isaiah 43, verse 19. For you promised in Joel, chapter 2, verses 25 through 27, saying, So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. And, Lord, you promised restoration in Isaiah 43, verses 19 to 20, even in seemingly impossible situations. You say, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. Dear Father, I believe you. Bring to pass in the lives of your children all that you have promised them, for they, too, believe and hope in you to perfect everything about them. In the name of Jesus Christ. All these things we ask of you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. If you enjoy this prayer, subscribe and share it with your loved ones and friends on social media. May God bless you.